Infor Artificial Intelligence is a complete ensemble of tools for creating, managing, and deploying AI models for enterprise use cases. Enterprises leverage on multiple machine learning algorithms and optimization solvers, coupled with supplementary intelligence technologies and knowledge engineered human and business logic with the aim of maximizing sales, for example, reducing costs, boosting efficiency, uncovering valuable insights. The AI core focus is to create value through predictive and prescriptive analytics and advise on the most efficient business decisions. Adies Mina Fitoska, Product Manager for Infor's Artificial Intelligence, and I'm here to give you a glimpse of the new features coming up in the April 2024 release. The Decision Manager is a new module within the Artificial Intelligence application. It is designed to augment artificial intelligence model outputs with business logic and eventually improve and automate the decision-making process for our users. Decision Manager addresses the problem of AI models rel relying on historical data for their observations. AI models lack awareness of the evolving business logic and strategies that are likely to change on a more frequent basis. And therefore, it is crucial to incorporate business rules to either complement or in some cases fully override AI-generated outputs by knowledge-engineered human and business decision logic. The Decision Manager module enables this by leveraging a model of business decisions called a Decision Plan. The decision plan encompasses rule facts, activation parameters, decision attributes, and arbitration to facilitate efficient decision making. The process starts by identifying the business model for which you want to create a decision plan. Event data defines the data dictionary, which represents the data schema passed in the request body of the incoming event. The data dictionary holds the data used in the decision process and represents the decision model in business domain language. Data dictionary has one or more profiles, each with one or more fields. You can set up the data dictionary by selecting a file or manually configuring the profiles and fields. The system profile is always added by default and captures the system temp temporal data, like year, month, day, hour, and so on. Next, configure the rule decisions, including the rule fact definition, activation parameters, decision attributes, and arbitration to define the conditions under which the rules should be arbitrated. When complete, deploy the decision plan as an endpoint. You can test the endpoint to confirm the configuration is correct. Additionally, users' feedback options on AI model product recommendations in the AI Advisor widget and in-context application is made available by capturing this feedback in a decision plan in the background. Users are able to snooze a recommended item for a specific period of time or add an item in the context to confirm a valid prediction. Then, on the subsequent AI model invocations, the AI outputs are filtered by the decision plan based on the feedback. Using Decision Manager's plan capabilities alone or in conjunction with AI model responses is a really powerful tool that generates outcomes based on both machine learning and current business logic. Enterprises can benefit from enhanced machine learning product recommendations integrating sales and promotional strategies, accounting for temporary conditions, compliance standards, and similar, ultimately leading to increased satisfaction for our end users. The custom algorithm option in the optimization module enables you to bring in your custom code package in the optimization implementations to shape the model when the built-in element setup option is constrained. Custom algorithms can be used to control the entire optimization pipeline. You can apply a solver already embedded in the module or use a custom solver option to initialize other solvers directly from within the custom algorithm code. 
the definition of the custom algorithm should consist of a minimum of one essential script, optimizer.py, which outlines the program invoked to execute the design quest. Other supportive routines, programs, or libraries can optionally be included in the zip file as well. Hyperparameters are used for model tuning, and their specification is part of the custom algorithm definition. Based on this specification, you will be able to assign values to hyperparameters during the quest execution to perform additional validations, like, for example, check the variable type, allowed values, or variable ranges. For more details on the required custom algorithm definition and structure, you can refer to the instructions section contained in the custom algorithms detail page. To deploy the custom algorithm, prepare your custom code in a zip file. Navigate to Optimization, Custom Algorithms, and add new to create the object, then add a name for the algorithm. Specify the package file from your local system in the designated field. Then upload the CSV file with hyperparameters or specify them directly in the table. A hyperparameter called solver name is added by default and is required for successful algorithm deployment. This declares the acceptable sol solver's value for the optimization problem. You can either pick some of the built-in solvers like CVC, IPOPT, POMLIN, or specify custom. Save and deploy the algorithm to make it available in the design quest. We will use this custom algorithm in an example for an invoice matching solution that simplifies the process of mapping invoices to purchase orders. Here, the optimization model provides a list of purchase order lines mapped to each invoice. Now make sure you've created a data group for your use case beforehand. In this example, we will need one dataset that has been loaded from the data lake. Add a new quest, specify its name, and select the data group. Now, under Model Setup, pick Custom Algorithm and specify the respective algorithm you have deployed for this purpose. Once you've configured the custom algorithm, Optimized model activity is auto-generated based on your definition of the solver name hyperparameter. Now save and run the quest. The result box is automatically generated upon running and captures the results as a JSON output. You can further compare the results for various runs and select the best configuration to move to production quest using the upload icon button. In our example, we want to use the real-time production. Now complete the optimized model activity by configuring the custom endpoint schema. You can design your own schema for the runtime input data. The custom endpoint schema configuration gives you the flexibility to supply additional datasets like, for example, indices or constant values, which might be necessary for solving the optimization problem. Make sure this data is then provided when the endpoint is invoked. Now we'll move all the parameters from the left to the right side to make sure the schema structure can consume this additional data inputs at runtime. Generate the JSON schema for the endpoint by clicking on the Run button available here below. And eventually save the endpoint schema and save the production quest to run it. After the production is successfully run, deploy the real-time endpoint for consumption. Navigate to the endpoint details to test the endpoint with sample data and confirm the results are as expected. 